Founded in 1972, BankTech began designing and manufacturing check sorting and related systems for the banking industry. Since that time, BankTech has built an impressive client base and developed a highly reputable product portfolio, assisting customers with high-speed document processing and automation, document management, imaging, data capture, and character recognition technologies and also servicing clients with their finance and accounting outsourcing needs. So when BankTech recently announced that they would be launching an e-invoicing solution, it seemed a very natural development for a company that had built such a robust client base and product foundation in this area. So I'm very pleased to be interviewing a key member of the executive team on this exciting development today. Mike Peplo has been with BankTech since 1997, where he quickly became Sales and Marketing Director in 99 and UK Managing Director in 2000. In 2005, he was named Senior Vice President and President EMEA, and it is within this role that I am talking with him today. So, hello, Mike. Good afternoon, Susie. How are you? Very well, thank you. Very well. So, your new e-invoicing solution is called BankPay, Perhaps you could start off by telling us a bit more about BankPay. How does it spring into life and what is it? Okay, well look, thanks for giving us this opportunity to talk about BankTech and our new service BankPay. BankPay was designed to be a platform that allows companies to trade collaboratively. And the reason it came about was quite simple, is that many of our customers just wanted a better way to trade together. We have operations right across Europe and America, including some 12 outsourcing centers in Europe and another eight in the Americas. So we deal with lots of different types of documents, including over 10 million invoices every year for about two or 300,000 different companies across the world. And we were, quite frankly, surprised that the movement to electronic transactions was so slow. So we started to discuss this with our customers and what the underlying issues were. And of course, we started to do some primary research ourselves so that we could better understand the market. And we were surprised that we found that many organizations did not think there were actually any benefits to them for e-invoicing whatsoever. And that a lot of organizations that had moved to e-invoicing had done so somewhat reluctantly, often as a result of important customers refusing to trade with them in any other way. And they'd found the experience complex and, quite frankly, believed it was poor value for money. And as a result, many companies used the invoicing to send some invoices, but then reverted to paper and email for the rest. So we felt that our customers really wanted an open, simple to use, easy to set up, and low cost service. And that's why we started to develop BankPay. So you've raised some really interesting points there. Could you just tell us a little bit more about what it actually is? Is it a solution that actually receives invoices itself, or is it a platform? What BankPay is, it's actually really a service. It's built on a cloud technology, and it simply allows any customer to come in and register and either send or receive invoices. And you can send and receive invoices in all sorts of different formats, from paper to web forms to EDI. We can handle just about any type of input and output. And because everything's logged within the system, you've got a full audit trail. Um, you can make sure that everything's secure. And if you want, you can allow other people in your organization or outside parties, like your accountants, to view those invoices as well. And also included, we've got in easy approval type mechanisms, and we can also add in complex approval type mechanisms. So what we've tried to do is build a platform that allows pretty much every sort of company, from a sole trader up to the largest of corporations, to use the same system. And we've tried to make it in a form that's easy to use, intuitive, and quite frankly, low cost. I know that we're going to be coming on to functionality of the bank pay solution in a later chapter, but for the time being, I w I'd like to just ask you a little bit more about how you and bank tech see the e-invoicing market. Clearly, there is a huge opportunity for the bank pay solution and for bank tech, 
because of the small number or the small percentage of invoices in Europe alone that are actually electronic today. So there's a huge opportunity to convert the remaining paper to electronic. Some would argue, however, that there are too many competitors in this marketplace right now and the adoption by users is actually quite slow. So what's your view on that dynamic? That's a good question. Let me deal with that in two parts. First of all, talk a little bit about the market and then talk a little bit more about the adoption rates in the market. First of all, I do agree with you that the e-invoicing market is a huge opportunity. However, I think our vision is that our customers should be allowed to trade together collaboratively. So it's more than just e-invoicing. So for example, if I send an invoice to a customer, they should be able to access all the supporting information associated with the invoice, you know, goods receive notes, timesheets, acceptance certificates. On the other hand, I should be able to understand where my invoice is in the approval process and when I'm likely to receive payment. If we need to, we should be able to exchange messages securely to resolve any issues and work together in a collaborative fashion to make sure that we reduce the transaction costs and make it as easy as possible to conduct business. And we think that can only be achieved in a collaborative system where the system is pretty neutral to all the users of that system. In terms of the adoption rates, I think one of the reasons the adoption rates have been quite slow, and our research shows that around 85 to 90 percent of all invoices are still sent by mail or, or as an email attachment. Well, I, I think the question to ask is, why is this? And we think there are a couple of major problems. First, the total cost, including the setup charges and transaction charges is just simply too high for many companies. Three euros per transaction is not uncommon. The second is as little benefit to the small or medium-sized business. Currently, most of the benefits are focused upon the large buyers. And until we give the rest of the market, particularly the small and medium-sized businesses within the market, some value, and we address the issues of adoption, then I think the market will be slow to develop. OK. So again, we'll come on to how the bank pay solution is looking to appeal to the mid-sized market a bit more and also to the whole range from the sole trader right the way through to the very large multinational, which I think in essence, that's the hard nut to crack. It's finding a solution that can appeal to all types. And we're going to come on to that in a later chapter. Just drilling down a little bit more into looking at the e-invoicing market, and you've shared with us some of your views on the opportunity and also your views on why perhaps there's been a slow adoption. I think as well what this market suffers from is a great deal of confusion for the buyer. So the buyer that's looking to use a particular e-invoicing solution to receive their invoices will be looking at the provider market and it's quite hard to tell one from the other. Many marketing messages are very, very similar and as far as a typical buyer is concerned, a lot of the providers actually all do the same thing and all have the same set of benefits. So I'd be very interested to hear from you, Mike. How does bank pay differ from the other providers? What would you say your unique selling points actually are? And how would you suggest a typical buyer to cut through the noise and differentiate the bank pay platform from the other e-invoicing providers out there? Okay, let's talk a little bit about then why bank pay is different. Well, I think there are lots of reasons, but I would pick out two or three of the following. Bank pay was designed for the whole market as you talked about a bit earlier on, from the small trader to the largest corporation. We don't view the market in terms of buyers and sellers. We view the market in terms of companies. All companies want to buy and sell within their market, so you need to look at them as a whole. But I think it is also important to understand that the needs of the sole trader are obviously different to the large corporations. And because of the amount of research we've done, we think we understand the differences in need and have configured bank pay accordingly. Let me give you a simple example. For large companies, we can switch on a facility we call hierarchy. 
And then what this does is it allows a company, typically a multinational company, a little like bank tech, to configure its organization structure into bank pay. So for example, I would be able to see all the European invoices, while our CFO in Dallas would be able to see the whole corporation's invoices. Now that's simply not relevant for most small and medium-sized businesses. So we don't have to switch it on for those guys. And what that means is that they get a system that's relevant to them and we can keep the cost and the cost of operation very low. And I think that's important in that we're asking people to use systems that are actually designed for their usage and not make do with systems that are designed for somebody else's. I think the second point I'd make is, I think as you'd expect from a company with bank tech experience, the bank pay platform is highly secure and scalable. You know, we've built bank pay on Microsoft's Azure cloud service. So it's always available, all the data is backed up in real time, and it's always backed up into at least two worldwide locations. And it meets the need for all the leading security standards around the world. I mean, we consider bank pay to be a mission critical system. If a business cannot send or receive its invoices, it's pretty serious. So we've used our 40 years of experience to make sure that bank pay provides a service that you can really rely on. And I think the final point is very important that I want to make, and I think this is particularly important where you're expecting people to register with the system and use it with a minimum amount of training. We wanted to make bank pay as intuitive and easy to use as possible. And this includes registration, connecting with buyers and suppliers, and being able to send and receive invoices in all their different forms. And we've spent a huge amount of time working with our customers and being out in trials for the last six months, both within BankTech ourselves and out in our customers in Sweden, to make sure that this system is as easy to use as possible. Because the only way that we're going to be able to deliver a service that really fits the needs of our customers at a price point that I think works for their businesses is if they can pick it up and use it without huge training courses and without huge onboarding exercises. So those are three of the differences that I think are particularly important when you should look at bank pay. Mm -hmm. I would say that there is a lot of confusion in the market. There's a lot of mixed claims. And I think in the end, when you look at deciding which sort of service or system you need, you need to look at the pedigree and heritage of the supplier. You need to make sure that whoever's providing that service is going to be around for the next 10 years because you're going to be reliant on it. And I think, quite frankly, you need to be able to pick it up, use it, try it, and make sure it's right for you. We'll talk later on, but one of the features of bank pay is you know, there is no setup charge. There is no registration charge. You can register in 10 minutes, and you can be using it five minutes after that. And I think there's nothing in this world that is better than trying it and seeing. Okay, thank you.